Well, hey here. Good morning, good afternoon. It's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. This is uh, Mike Waters for the Everyday People Show. Hey, yeah, hey, it's me. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> Got a good friend of mine here, Terry Williams. He's a buddy of mine I've known since before he was born. Uh, Just about. You know, we're, we're so ancient and stuff, but uh, Terry's there's, been a friend of mine like fossils. forever. And uh, he, he has a uh, store up in Skagway, Alaska, where he sells artifacts and all kinds of stuff. And I'll let him now tell you about it. Now we're specializing in carvings of fossil materials. This is a fossil stellar sea cow rib from a, a marine mammal that went extinct in Russian fur trade times over 400 years ago. Wow. And we carve uh, fascinating things out of these, often Alaskan wildlife or sometimes totemic style pieces. Where did and, you find that thing? Uh, this comes from St. Lawrence Island, an island in the Bering Straits. And it's an uh, island west of Nome where there's lots of marine mammal remains. Uh. And it, here's a sculpture. I mean, do you buy them from the natives? Do you walk the, do you find them on the beach yourself? Or? The raw material has to be collected by native Alaskans. And here's a oh. sculpture made from one of the fossil bones. Wow, um, kind of a totemic style carving with lots of different wildlife illustrated. And this is an example of this sort of thing we carve from the fossil bones. Can you sell this in your shop up These in Alaska? These are uh, typical of the types of things that we sell in Alaska. Now we also are trading in these at uh, gym and mineral venues in the southwestern United States and we're okay. getting ready to go show a collection of these in this Tucson, thing is Arizona. A, this thing is about a foot tall. Yeah, I think it's uh, 12 inches tall exactly and what retail what would you sell that for what, what would this be is a good around uh, five or six thousand dollar sculpture okay so if anybody wants that they can contact you or me and you know I've got an email address somewhere I can get to people the and carver that carved this worked on this for a year maybe I can put your I'll add your phone number or something or if you want an email address or something I put it at the bottom of the credits here so okay, very if good. people are interested in it yeah. So, so you're getting ready to go to a show in Tucson? Did you yeah, say? this our biggest uh, venue now, the biggest fossil venue in the world is the Tucson Chim and Mineral Show wow. and Fossil Show, and we'll be bringing a collection of you know, these items to Arizona for February. You know, I, I can't remember where I was. I was at a restaurant or something, and I heard some other people talking about this very same show. It's so, a big deal with all the rock hounds now and the so, jewelry makers. Well, okay, well, what else do you have here? Do you have other things that's going to be at your show? I see you got a lot of boxes here on the floor. Here's a, a uh, fossil walrus test to give you an idea what a fossil walrus test looks like before it's sculpted. And this is an exceptionally large one, over five pounds. And there's a gentleman that wants us to carve a migration of salmon on this tusk. Wow, look at that. Let me so, back up. I can't even get it in the screen. This is uh, uh, larger than average fossil walrus tusk. Yeah, it would be rare to that. see walrus tusks on this scale Let's now get a close -up and see in modern it times. Like. Wow. So how old do you think the tusk is? Uh, these average around a thousand years old. Wow, and it, when they're when they're polished and carved, it looks pretty much just like regular uh, ivory, like, the like previous elephant ivory. One. Uh, yeah. it, actually, it doesn't have as much grain as elephant ivory, and it has a little more color because it's mineralized from being buried in the for a thousand the years. For wow, yeah, or thousands yeah, you're years. right. Okay, very so outstanding. That's, that's how they start. Okay, yeah. Well, sorry to hear about the walrus demise, but that was a thousand years ago. I suppose he doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, somebody ate that guy before the Green Avalanche was enacted. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, this is pretty fascinating. What, what's, what's, what's this? You want to get your picture? What's this? What's the story of this uh, this uh, basket here? I oh, this is an interesting is. example because uh, when we were shopping in Bali, we found a basket uh, weaver who studied Native American baskets, and this is a reproduction of a Native American basket woven from palm fronds in Bali. Wow. Is it old or is it contemporary? It's, it's contemporary, but they smoke them to give them a patina. To give them a little color. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I see you have some posters on the wall now. What, what are these? Those native? are uh, native, graf native style graphics that um, we did in the 80s, and that was some of our first exposure to 
to uh, Northwest Coast India so, North images. I see your name down there, 1982, Terry Williams. Yeah. So you actually did this. It's is this a block print or design. actually silk screen? The silk screen. Okay. Yeah. So this and is uh, how we do the. Is this your aunt Agnes here hanging on the wall? That's <laughs> a uh, mask from Arizona. Uh, oh, in Arizona. From Ma mask. Mayo culture. Huh. Okay. So Mayo mass and yaki mass are just about indistinguishable. So are there a group of Indians down there that are prominent they in that area? They came from uh, northern Mexico when the Spanish right. displaced them 400 years ago. And okay. there, there's uh, Yaqui and Mayo on both sides of the border. Okay, now here's another, another painting on the wall. This is a bear design, a silkscreen of a bear design like you might have seen on a Bentwood box from, from uh, the 19th century. Wow. So it's a real traditional sort of design. So Another the, one we drew in the 80s. So the Indians would uh, be doing this stuff years and years ago? Yeah, it's in the style kind of, of historic uh, okay. artwork from Alaska. Well, how long have you been into this kind of trade? Oh, oh about 30 years. And then okay. I, I have an interesting shield right now that we collected in Borneo. And, and wow. one of the things that's been fascinating me is the similarities between the previous art, which was native Alaskan, and the curvilinear designs that come from um, from Indonesia. Uh, this is uh, from Kuching, a town in Sarawak, which is the Malaysian site of Borneo. Wow. And uh, the imagery is very similar. Is that a certain type of wood? What is that? It's a softwood, and this is the sort of shield they might use for a dancing Item. For a ceremony, but in in sort. early times, this would have been a shield for making war, but now it's uh, just made for uh, a, a prop for dancing. Okay. But well, uh, how old is this thing? Do you this think? is about fifty years old. Okay, so it's not super old, but no, yeah, but, but the, still nineteen fifty. These sort of designs they've been doing um, forever. For yeah, yeah, at least uh, since the nineteenth century. So it's fascinating to see. Uh, this type of artwork yeah. on both sides of the Pacific. Kind of looks like my brother-in-law. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, very handsome lad. Yeah, <laughs> after he's had a couple of drinks, you know. I don't know. <laughs> he he gets pretty weird, you know. But uh, I don't know. It's pretty pretty interesting. So, so right now you're on your way to Tucson. Then after Tucson, where do you go? Then back to Alaska to apply the. The okay. Alaskan trade. So what do you have summer. going on up there? Where is this place? I mean, I, We have a gallery in Skagway, Alaska. It's a cruise ship destination with a million visitors a summer. So it's wow. quite a okay. great opportunity to show our artwork. And the there. name of your shop? Inside Passage Arts. Inside. So if anybody's going to Skagway, they should go to Inside Passage Arts. Yes. They'll, they'll find you, the proprietor there. You'll be looking at all your yep. stuff. And we'll be happy to show so our you have collection a lot of, of uh, tribal art. You have and they're all carvings that you get from around the world? or Yeah, mostly we specialize in three-dimensional objects. And they're, they're like bracelets and, and necklaces? Some jewelry, and too. Jewelry? Yeah. Okay. And most of the other stuff are like stuff you'd put on your mantle? or Oh, a lot of things case? Uh, for the wall, like drums and masks. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, like, like your friend over yeah. here on the wall here yeah. from, uh, from Arizona. But most yeah. of the stuff you collect overseas or... Uh, in, the, in our gallery in Alaska, about half is from Alaska and half is from elsewhere. Okay. So yeah, we I collect you... uh, wherever we go. Our tastes have gotten more eclectic in recent years. <laughs> well, it sure is amazing to hear about all these travels that you go on. And, uh, um, you know, I know I've, I've talked to you many times about this, and I know your dad's a super rock hound, and you, that's how you kind of got started yeah, in all this we stuff. Yeah, from a family that has a compulsion to collect things. Yep, yeah, <laughs> a lot of people do, yeah. It's, it's a really neat thing, though. I mean, I, I, I'm always, you know, amazed coming over to your house because there's always, like, bags of stuff and boxes, boxes and things and, this and is the tip you know, of the iceberg. stuff you could go through for like days and days and be amazed and wonder how it was made and where it came from and looks like you know almost looks like you know my garage almost filled with stuff just things we've collected but you know certainly not like this these things here yeah the ours um, is gotten uh, so it's spilling over into the living room <laughs> <laughs> the store the real storehouse is somewhere else yeah you know you yeah, you, you know, at public storage, he's got three three of your buildings for you, you know, I don't know. 
Well, anyway, well, look, I better go. I'll let you get going. I know you're busy. Uh, thanks for the interview. Yeah, and, uh, yeah it's you know. been a pleasure to see okay. you. And welcome back from your travels. Oh, yeah, thanks very much. Yeah, people know I went to China. Yeah, you see my jacket here. I got this in Chengdu. Very kind of Kind of neat thing, so. Okay, well, this is Mike Waters with the Everyday People Show and okay. uh, Terry, Terry Williams. Williams. Broadcasting live from Seattle in the University District. Uh, have a wonderful time in the new year. Okay, bye-bye now, everybody. Bye.